you know what guys in the panda nation i like listening to my tunes whatever they may be you know uh, jamming to britney spears uh backstreet boys neil diamond you know listening to my sweet caroline mm, i love getting my groove on the sweet caroline anyway i love being able to listen to that and maybe my podcast too and so i picked up a, a pair of headphones here and this this one is from cowan I'm going to say Cowan, even though it might be Cohen. And uh, they're the E7 Bluetooth headphones. And the reason I picked these up is that they are also anti-noise or, um, you know, noise filtering or noise canceling headphones. Uh, and I will say this active noise canceling because I've noticed. So beware that, uh, holy smokes, this box is a little hard to open. Um, that a lot of headphones that say noise canceling or noise reduction just means like the ear pad is like... I don't know, sound ceiling. So make sure if you, you, you're looking for the word active, if you're looking for something active noise cancellation. Now, the Bose headphones are kind of the gold standard in that, but they are brutally expensive. I mean, six, seven, eight hundred dollars expensive. And so I haven't made the investment to do that because it just hasn't been worth it for me. And I've had Audio Technica and Boss and some other, uh, or Koss, I should say, uh, headphones in the past with really good active noise cancellation. Now, we do come with this pouch here. I'm going to put this side so that you can have something to carry with it's like a synthetic pleather with a drawstring which is nice but the one thing i wanted was a cheap set of headphones that i could use uh while i'm mowing my lawn my poulon pro riding lawnmower now i don't know if you have that issue but it makes a lot of noise i wear uh ear plugs when i'm mowing anyway just to preserve my hearing but it would be awesome to spend that time catching up on a podcast or jamming the britney spears Sweet Caroline. A uh, number of things of paperwork in here, and here are the headphones. And so, um, ooh, they're kind of glossy piano black. That's kind of cool. And uh, they come with some cables here, it looks like. Uh, geez, we've got a three and a half millimeter, a very long three and a half millimeter cord for a wired uh, setup. We also have micro USB for recharging, the Bluetooth portable. And then here are the headphones. Now, the reason, you know, the, the, you can pick these up and just have cancel noise in a coffee shop or on an airplane or on the train or on a road trip, but these not being that expensive, man, they almost look too nice to try to use outside. Um, <laughs> uh, they're kind of an over the ear, but these aren't super huge. Now, you know, if you take a look at the size of the, the cup, depending on the size of your ear, your ear might be pressed over there. There are some that are obviously much bigger and really go over the ear. Uh, that would have probably been my preference, but uh, to step up to something like that was more expensive. You know, these are more in the $50 range, and so to get active noise cancellation and, uh, you know, wireless capability, and I don't have to worry about the price point too much about getting them beat up too badly. That's kind of the key. Now let's take a quick little tour through it. So we have like a pleather ear cup here, very plush, uh, very soft, should create a nice um, seal to, uh, you know, screen out noise. Uh, one of the things about the pleather is that it doesn't breathe all that well. So a lot of times, now nah, I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's bad, but I'm pulling them off a lot just to kind of air out my ears a little bit. We have a Ooh, kind of a, a foam, like there's a, like a foam screen in there and a little nylon, like a spandex liner on there. So you can't see the speaker, but uh, it's not just me springing that spandex. There is like a little, little like a quarter and eighth inch foam layer in there too. Uh, we obviously have a black and chrome type of look. This is all plastic, but it looks pretty nice. Like I said, a little nicer than something you might want to wear outside. Uh, shiny plastic. It's showing my fingerprints quite readily here as I'm tapping it. We have a looks like a button here. Maybe not. Doesn't seem to be doing anything, but there's a little clear or a translucent plastic piece there. So I'm assuming there's a, some sort of indicator light. Then we have the kind of the chrome effect going all the way up here where there's an adjustment. This uh, appears to be a metal, like an alloy bar in there. So you do have little clicks in there so you can adjust it. You have that pleather covering on the top, and then even though it's pleather covered on the bottom here, this is very heavily foam padded. So on the outside here, I can feel that, I don't know if that's metal probably, or plastic on the top bar right in here, I can feel it right there, but everything else is, is foam. So that should create a nice little comfortable 
uh, support on the top there. And then if we look on the other side here, here it says Cowin, Cowin, and we have a volume down and up, another little light there. And, <clears throat> okay, here's here's the business. The three and a half millimeter jack is there. Um, I'm not sure what this pinhole right there is for though, but then it looks like we have the power switch right here, which is gonna say off Bluetooth, which is gonna be your wireless, and then NC, which is for turning on noise cancellation. So let's go ahead and get this paired up with my phone and just see how they sound. All right, guys, so I got them paired up. Those little translucent plastic are lights, so you can tell when it's on, you can tell when it's pairing. Uh, the pairing was very simple, it just says E7. I also noticed that there is a right and a left, and on the inside of the bar here, of the headband, it has an R or an L right there to tell you which is the right and left side, because it, the stereo absolutely works. It's pretty impressive. Um, I could pick up a lot of detail in the music that you can't pick up in the car or from a, you know, um, a set of home speakers or something like that. And as you can see, I don't have the biggest ears, but I have very flat ears. Uh, you can see that they do fit over the ears for the most part. So even though I didn't think that these headphones were all that big, you know, for the most part, my entire ear is covered. And so, uh, you know, I guess I don't need the really big obnoxious ones. These seem to work just fine. So if you're like me, if you're kind of an average sized person, uh, these might just be perfect for covering your whole ear and kind of blocking everything out. Now the active noise cancellation, they're on right now. I don't have anything playing through them, but I may be screaming a little bit because it does work. I can't hear. I have a lot of kind of ambient noise and they, just, they tend to work pretty well. Now, the other thing about the controls, which are on this side, you have that plus and minus sign you know which is up for minus and down for plus which may or may not be intuitive for you but if you tap it you know the minus button it goes back a track and if you hit the positive button it moves forward a track if you hold it down you control the volume right so if i hold down the plus sign it will increase the volume now i will say this sometimes on the headphones i've noticed that it's really kind of controlling the volume on the device you're playing from. So, you know, if I hit the volume up button here, I've noticed that it's really kind of controlling the volume on the phone and you'll see the volume slider. These work independently. So you do have kind of two pieces of control. And so if you um, increase the volume to the max here, it's not really changing the volume on the phone. And so you can go back to the phone and also increase the volume. So you can get these pretty loud or really control a softness level because you have kind of two uh, volume controls. How, how, how loud the music is being broadcast from your phone or your device and then also how loud these are playing are kind of handled independently. So I really like them. These, these Cowan E7 headphones are really nice. Uh, they feel pretty nice and they feel, even though parts of them are plastic, they feel pretty solid like kind of a premium piece and they sound really good and the price point on them I think is great. And I'm kind of torn because I wanted to use these outside and I like that they were inexpensive and that I could take them outside and use them during the day and not have to worry about them. Maybe even get a little perspiration on them and uh, grass clippings or whatever. But I'm really actually torn because I think these would be great everyday headphones for wearing on the train in your office, things like that too. So we may see. I've got some other headphones on order too and um, one of them is going to be destined for outside work. Maybe these, but these are impressive. I'm, I'm liking them. Cowan, E7 headphones, check them out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out!